This video will show you how to use the Leica Histocore Pegasus Tissue Processor to process your specimens. The Pegasus Tissue Processor is a brand new tissue processor, which was launched by Leica in May of 2022. It is a fully enclosed processor with two retorts. Each retort operates independently with its own temperature, pressure, and on and off stirrer settings and it can process up to 200 cassettes. This means that this new processor can run two different protocols and process up to 400 cassettes simultaneously. This is the color touchscreen, which connects to a computer in the instrument. You can monitor, edit, and operate the processor here. This is the scanner with which you can scan barcodes and take pictures. Here are the two retorts where you will place your cassettes for processing. This is the reagent cabinet, which accommodates 17 reagent bottles and one condensate bottle. The tissue processor works like this. First, put your cassettes into one of the retorts. Depending on the protocol you select, the processor will pump the reagent into the retort and process the specimen. When this is complete, the processor will pump this reagent out and pump in another one. This will continue until the whole process is finished. This is a stainless steel cassette basket which is compatible with most common cassette types. Please use these baskets during processing. Please do not put cassettes into the retort directly. This is the spring of the basket and the basket division board, which are used to align the cassettes in the basket accurately. With the spring and division board, the basket can be filled with up to 72 cassettes. Without a spring and division board, the cassettes can be packed in more tightly so that a maximum of 100 cassettes can fit into one basket. One retort can hold two baskets, so a maximum of 200 cassettes can be processed in one retort. The basket with a spring and basket division ensures optimum reagent flow with minimal carryover. So, if you don't need to process the maximum number of cassettes, please always use the spring and the basket division. After putting your cassettes into the basket, place the basket cover over the cage of the basket. The basket handle is recessed in the middle of the basket and can be extended by lifting it upward. A basket hook can be found on the side of the processor. You can use the hook to transfer the basket in and out of the retort. This is the main power switch. Under normal conditions, please keep the instrument on at all times. If there is an emergency, you can press the main power switch to shut it down immediately. After watching this video, Please contact your histology specialist to get in-person training. Once you have completed the training, you will have your own account with a username and password. Here is where you will enter your username and password. Then tap Login. The status screen will be displayed. Before opening the retort, please be aware of the contents, temperature, and pressure. You must ensure there is no pressure or vacuum inside the retort before you open the lid. You may see a warning if the retort temperature is greater than either the retort empty access temperature or the safe access temperature associated with the reagent in the retort. There are two retorts, retort A and retort B. 
Ensure you select the retort you booked to use. For example, we selected retort A. It should show that retort A is either clean or has a residue of a reagent compatible with the first reagent of the protocol. If the first step of the protocol uses a reagent that is incompatible with retort residue, a warning message will be displayed. You may need to run a cleaning protocol or you may be able to skip the first steps of the protocol. To open the retort, use the handles in the front of the instrument. Turn the handle clockwise and open the retort lid by lifting the front end of the lid. Each retort has a magnetic stirrer, which stirs the reagent or paraffin to ensure a consistent temperature and good tissue penetration. Each retort also has a sieve at the bottom. You should check to see if the retort is clean or that any residue is a reagent compatible with the first reagent in the protocol. Only use Kim wipes to wipe the inner layer of the retort, especially to wipe the two fluid level sensors. Next, you will need to prepare the cassettes and put them into the baskets. After this is done, you can put the baskets into the retort and close the lid of the retort. There are two protocols under the favorite protocol list, overnight xylene and overnight xylene 70% alcohol. It depends on the situation of your samples to decide which protocol you should use. If your tissue samples are in formalin, you should choose overnight xylene. If your tissue samples are already in 70% alcohol, then you should choose overnight xylene 70% alcohol. In this case, our samples are in formalin, so we will select overnight xylene, then press run. If you would like to enter the information of the basket, press the scanning slash photograph trigger button on the scanner to scan the barcode on the basket. The barcode information will be filled in the basket name field on the screen. If you want to take a picture of the basket, press the scanning slash photograph trigger button. You will be able to view the basket picture on the right side of the screen. You can adjust the picture using the picture view tools, then press the tick button. The picture of the basket will be filled in then press OK. If you don't need to input the information of your baskets, simply press the OK button. Now, you will see a dialog box where you must enter the number of cassettes that are in the retort. It is very important that you enter the correct number of cassettes. Since the number you enter will be used by the reagent management system, to calculate reagent concentrations. If you enter the wrong number of cassettes, the reagent concentrations will not be correct. Enter the number and then tap OK. For example, if you have put 30 cassettes in the retort, enter 30 and then tap OK. Now the scheduling screen will appear. If you want to change the step from which the run starts, tap Edit Steps to open the Edit the Run Steps dialog box. To skip one or more protocol steps, tap the step icon for the step that you want the protocol to start with. For example, if you want to skip the first two steps, you can tap Step 3, then tap OK. If you would like to change the step time, Open the Edit the Run Step dialog box, tap the current step time, then set a new time in the dialog box. For example, we can change the step time to 45 minutes on step number 3, then press OK. Now, if you want to run the protocol immediately, tap ASAP to start right now. If you want to delay the start of the run, tap plus day to choose the delay days and then 
tap edit end time to specify a delay. For example, we can select 10 a.m. tomorrow. Then tap the OK button to accept the changes. Please double check that the predicted end time shown on the screen is correct. If it is not, repeat the previous steps. If it is correct, tap the start button and the system will schedule the protocol. You may see warning messages on the screen. If so, please follow their instructions to continue. Please note the difference between our current Leica TP1020 tissue processor and this new processor. In the Leica TP1020, you need to manually set up the start time. In this new processor, you will need to manually set up the end time. Now you can view the progress of your run on the status screen. You can also pause the protocol run to add additional cassettes or to abort the run completely. To stop a protocol that has started, tap the pause button on the status screen. The protocol in the retort you tap will stop running and the instrument pause dialog will open with a number of options. Please follow the instructions on the screen. When the protocol is finished, the Protocol Complete dialog box will appear, with a notification saying Protocol Complete and an alarm sound. Then tap Drain Retort to drain the retort. When the dialog box Drain Completed and Open Retort appears, please open the retort. A message will appear prompting you to remove all tissues. After this is completed, tap Done. Please do not tap Done until all the baskets have been removed from the retort. Now you will see the Clean Now panel. Please ensure you run a cleaning protocol before running the next processing protocol. Accept the pre-selected default protocol for cleaning. You will be prompted to place your dirty baskets in the retort. Please ensure that all tissues have been removed from the baskets before you do so, and the lid of the retort has been closed. Tap Start to begin the run. When the cleaning protocol is finished, the protocol complete panel will appear and an alarm will sound. Once you are finished, you can press this icon to log out, or the process will automatically log you out in 15 minutes if no one touches the screen. Please remember, every time you must run two protocols on this new Pegasus processor. The first is your tissue processing protocol, and the second is the Clean Now protocol. That way, the processor will be ready for the next user. This video was a quick guide to show you how to use the Leica Istacore Pegasus Tissue Processor to process your specimens. If you have any questions, you can find the user manual on our website. You can also contact Shifang Lu, the histology specialist, to get in-person training or ask troubleshooting questions. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your research project.